Hi, I'm Betty, and today I'm here to talk to you about how amlodipine or calcium channels work. Amlodipine is a medication commonly prescribed by doctors to help treat blood pressure. Amlodipine is in a class of medications called CCBs, or calcium channel blockers. Other examples of calcium channel blockers include nifedipine, also known as procardia, philodipine, also known as plendol, deltiazem, also known as cardizem, and verapamil, also known as Kalin. So your heart pumps blood to every part of your body. It does this through blood vessels that carry blood to the rest of the body. These blood vessels are lined with cells, and these cells contain channels called calcium channels. Your body tends to have a lot of calcium outside the cell, represented as Ca plus here. When signaled, the calcium enters the channel and goes into the cell. This tells the body to make the blood vessel more narrow. When blood needs to go through a smaller space, the pressure increases, thus it increases your blood pressure. So how do calcium channel blockers work? Amlodipine, a calcium channel blocker, will enter your system and block the channel. When this happens, calcium is unable to enter the cell. As a result, the blood vessel cannot narrow. In fact, it can cause vasodilation, which means the blood vessel can widen. Now that the blood has a bigger space to go through, the pressure decreases, leading to lower blood pressure. Some things to remember about amlodipine is that it is usually taken one tablet by mouth daily. It can be taken with or without food. Some side effects include swelling of areas of the body, dizziness, nausea, lightheadedness, and rapid heartbeat for some calcium channel blockers. Also, monitor your blood pressure routinely and remember to take your dose every day. High blood pressure is also known as the silent killer. That's because it has virtually no symptoms but can lead to health problems. Make sure that you're in a rested state when you do take your blood pressure readings. Exercise and movement can increase blood pressure but in the short term and in a healthy way. In fact, exercise has been shown to help lower blood pressure in the long run. It is chronic high blood pressure that you should worry about and that should be treated as soon as it reaches a certain severity level. Well, that's all for today now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.